What up everybody and welcome to Baz Arm Blades. My name is Baz and I talk about blades. Today a very quick video that I hope is going to kickstart uh, more frequent content here at Baz Arm Blades. Um, guys, I have been slacking on content and although I can't afford to continuously buy knives here at this totally non-monetized channel, uh, I do want to put up more content. You know, I've got a lot of people that have hung around and they deserve, you know, they've been waiting and waiting and waiting on Baz on Blades to get his shit together. So, um, I'm going to start posting more frequent content. I'm also going to change my schedule for posting. I'm always going to post something on Sunday. Um, but during the week, I will probably post fairly early in the day, and that will be, you know, 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time, because I'm on the East Coast, basically. And um, you guys be sure and look for that. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notifications. Turn all the notifications on. That way you will get to see everything that I put up. Sooner or later, you may get tired of me, but... In the meantime, um, you don't know if you don't get notified. So, this morning, a very quick first sneak peek look at the newest Ganzo model. Look at that. We're going to talk a little bit about it here. Uh, not a full review, just a few minutes. This is the FH923, and there is your info, BK for Black G10. And it is, it's, um, while not radical, I think that the blade profile and grind is fairly radical for Ganzo Firebird, especially in the FH series, although they have not been scared to try different blade profiles and grinds. Uh, this is the first trailing point, basically, design that I think we have seen from Ganzo in these supposedly, you know, original designs. Um, and I don't know if this is an original. It's a straight-up copy clone of something I just don't know about. I just, I love trailing points, and when I saw, um, actually, I didn't see it. Jeffrey Orthopedic, I believe, sniped me on this like he usually does and he sent me photos where he'd caught it on Ganzo's Instagram or whatever I don't know but he picked up on it first as always and sent me the information and I saved the photo I've been watching 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 and then he sent me an email that Justin over at White Mountain Knives uh, got these in and I don't have my White Mountain Knives sticker damn White Mountain Knives, guys. White Mountain Knives. I have no business ties with Justin or White Mountain Knives. Never got a penny from him. Never even spoke to the man on the phone. But damn it, I love that he gives us that discount. Free shipping. His his stock is just as good as anybody else's. Uh, it's been joy to work with him. So, uh, I usually get my Ganzo somewhere else, but I was really excited about this um, trailing point design. So, I went ahead and grabbed it from Justin. And uh, I am, you know, the Ganzo stuff is starting to run together because every time you do a review, you're like, this is the best one they've ever done. And then the next time, you're like, I can't believe I'm saying it. This is the best one they've ever done. And then the next review, you're like, oh my God, this one's the best one they've ever done. Shit. And here I am, you know, 100 Ganzo reviews in, and I still think in some respects this might be the best that they have done so far. Um, I think it's the design is, it's not going to appeal to everybody, and it is a full-size knife. It's right at three and a half inch blade length. Super happy about that. It would have been a shame to have this beautiful blade any smaller than this. Um, you know, overall, this design reminds me 
of the design language that Ernest Emerson uses in his designs. And I'm not saying it's a copy of any of his designs. It is not remotely a copy of any of his designs. I am using the term design language. The design language that Ernest Emerson uses is on the very utilitarian end of the tactical market. Um, Ernest knows how to design a handle. And this really reminds me a lot of his sort of design language. Um, you know what? I actually, I very much like this knife. I've only got one issue with it. Um, the jamping, although the cut on the jamping is absolutely perfect, the spacing is, they've come back when they flatten the tops instead of leaving them crisp on the edge, just taking the burr off. They've overbuffed it, in my opinion, and they've rounded the edges enough to where you can press on it and get flesh down in it, and but there's not a whole lot of grip at the top, at the peaks on the jamping. So, um, you know, it's, I hate to get on a folding knife and have to press so hard into jamping to get it to work. Uh, although, even if this lock failed, you can see the, the flipper tab is going to go in straight into my finger there. There's absolutely zero chance that's going to close up on my hands, I wouldn't think. Uh, lockup seems super duper strong on it. It feels... I think they've brought the FH uh, series, the bearing series, up a notch. They started putting more of a polished finish on the liners, even on the internal surfaces. And, of course, bearings rolling on a polished surface will feel better than bearings rolling on a, you know, a much raw or maybe a bead blast um, surface. I think that's m the major improvement with the, with the feeling in these um, last couple of Ganzo folders. Uh, detent's pretty good. Uh, the actual detent itself is robust enough, but the design, the way the geometry laid out on this knife is, your flipper tab is behind the center point of the um, pivot pin. And I think, in my opinion, um, the further back you go beyond that center point of vertical, you start losing mechanical advantage of the flipper. Uh, I typically prefer knives where the flipper tab is straight up or slightly forward, canted just slightly forward. I think that is actually a force multiplier uh, as far as the way leverage works when you're using um, a flipper tab because it's it's basically a lever. You are using it as a lever uh, to rotate that blade uh, enough around the axes to break it out of the detent. So, uh, you know, I wish that would have been a little more forward. It would improve the feel of the flipping, uh, the action itself. If I try... If I absolutely try, I can fail this knife in the vertical position, okay? Um, but I have to absolutely try, and I can't shake it out under any reasonable force at all. And by reasonable, I mean even somebody that wanted to take your knife, if they could shake the blade out. I'm not going to make any mentions here, but uh, we all know that game, I think. Um, that's all right. I'm a sucker for a trailing point. Sucker for a trailing point. Nice wide open grip design. Flat butt cap there. Good God, man, my freaking hands are tore up. I played with uh, Jax the Destroyer for like three seconds, and he ripped me right across the back of my hand. Right across my damn knuckles. <sighs> yeah, that was fun tonight. So, what do you guys think? I think I'm losing steam here. We're going to keep it under 10 minutes. So, there you go. Sneak peek at the uh, FH923 
dash BK. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Um, more content coming more often, guys. I promise you, I promise you. As always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.